Booker Corrigan here on CUDA.com, bringing you the IAAM A Conference Finals. Archbishop's falling in a 24-1 record, going up against the McDonough Eagles. Archbishop spawning their starters today. Number 44, Camille Calhoun, along with number 20, Tori Chestnut. Number three, Sierra Clark. Point guard, number 24, Aaliyah Epps. And of course, number 15, Jade Skate. Their head coach, Bookie Roseman, is ready to go for today's action. And let's get down to the Eagles. McDonough Eagles tonight, coach Brad Reese, very much looking forward to using that man-to-man -man defense against Archbishop Spalding. He's going to use starters number five, Danielle Edwards, along with 21, Brianna Jacobs, number 23, Maya Wynn, number 40, Deja Logan, and number 42, leading rebounder, Jamira Johnson. Big day here at Goucher University as the Goucher Gym plays host to the IAAM Girls A Conference Championship game here on CUDA.com. We'll be back with the tip off just after this. Go for it! And we're set to go here on CUDA.com in the IAAM title game. McDonough in their road orange with black trim, and Archbishop Spalding wearing their whites. They are the number one seed home team on your scoreboard. McDonough, number two seed advancing. Both teams having great seasons, and now we have the pleasure of watching them come together for the title game. Inside feed, foul on the shot, and it's gonna be number five. Number 15, excuse me, Jade Scaife is gonna get the shot. Foul on Maya Win, number 23 for McDonough. Scaife, one of the leading scorers for the Archbishop Spalding Cavaliers this season. Thanks for joining us here on CUDA.com IAAM Conference. Joining the CUDA family, I'm Booker Corrigan bringing you the play-by-play -play and color. And Spalding using their full court press tonight. One of the ways they work themselves to a 24-1 record and the number one seed this year as we see Daniel Edwards running the point for the Eagles. Quickly down the wing to 21, Brianna Jacobs. Outside shot, no good. Rebound fought for, and it's off the Eagles. It's going to be Spalding ball. And McDonough counters with full court pressure of their own. And a great play on the inside by Tori Chestnut to break the press. But you see the quick hands of Daniel Edwards defensively. The Eagles, once they get into their half court defense, play straight man to man, but they do like that pressure. And the beneficiary, Maya Wynn up. No good ball, out of bounds. And we're gonna stay at this end, McDonough ball. McDonough head coach Brad Reese has done a tremendous job of bringing great talent along here at McDonough. Inside shot, number 40 is good. Deja Logan gets the first points of the afternoon for the Eagles. Aaliyah Epps gets the press break, and now it's quickly up the court to 44, Camille Calhoun. Calhoun inside, spin move, goes to her left, no good. Gets her own rebound off the back iron, and that's going to be rebounded by Deja Logan. Eagles running the floor, slow it up just a little bit. And Edwards down the wing to Maya Wynn. An inside pass, up and under move, no good. And the loose ball pinballs around before it's out of bounds, awarded to Spalding. Again, Archbishop Spalding in their home, Whites, McDonough Road, orange on orange. And this is Epps. One of the great ball handlers for head coach Bookie Roseman. Out on the wing, Calhoun. He 
hits it off the front iron. And now we get a foul on the inside. It's going to stay here with Spalding. McDonough getting after the ball defensively. Number 21, Brianna Jacobs. Guilty of the foul. That's her first. 6-10 to go, first quarter, 2-2 two two your score. Just like the day after a bad chili cook-off. Well, not, and it deuces. Attempted save by Spalding's Sierra Clark. And it's going to be Eagles basketball. As you'll probably pick up throughout the course of the broadcast, some of public address announcer Carmen D. John Domenico's work. This is Edwards, the point guard for the Eagles. Running motion offense. And a loose ball unable to be corralled by Brianna Jacobs. And defense ruling the day so far. 5.47 to go first quarter. IAAM championship game of the A Conference. Spin move by Aaliyah Epps. Three-point ball, long, no good, but rebounded on the inside, up, no good. That shot by Andrea Robinson. And Sierra Clark goes up and under, can't get it to go. And foul called against Jade Skate. Spalding working that full court pressure. It's going to really force McDonough to use their good ball handlers and may bring about some fatigue, although we get an underneath foul against Spalding. That foul on the floor, no shots. Looks like it's against number three, Sierra Clark. And they gave that foul to Alea Epps. Didn't see her hack in, but... And that one will go against Sierra Clark. You see that principle of verticality reaching straight up in the air, but the veteran Brianna Jacobs able to get her to commit the foul. Jacobs, a junior forward for Coach Brad Reese. Coach Brad Reese also gets a ton of help from assistant coach Amy Brooks throughout the years. She's one of those great assistant coaches that you can't live without. And McDonough takes her first lead of the day, three to two. Five, 10 to go. First quarter, ball off the foot of Deja Logan. But it's Calhoun out on the outside. McDonough fans wanted to travel. But they take the ball away regardless. Looking to run some transition, but they pull it up. This is Edwards. Edwards for three, draws iron. Ball saved, but quickly inside, Alea Epps gathers it in, and now it's going to be Jade Scape. Underneath to the trailer, foul called, and we're going to get two shots from Sierra Clark. End to end action, but the chaos has not translated into points on the scoreboard just yet. Tori just not short on the first free throw as McDonough runs some subs into the game. Lillian Robb comes in for the Eagles, as does Andrea Robinson. Coach Brad Reese going to his bench a little bit early. And Chestnut makes good on the second. Tied up at three. And again, defense ruling the day. 
credit some of that to some title game jitters. They have to be anxious about today's contest. The two top teams coming all the way through the playoffs unscathed. Underneath attempt, no good by Andrea Robinson, but it's going to maintain McDonough possession. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Inbounds to Jamea Johnson. And here's Edwards. Edwards defended by Johnson Matthews. Nice dribble left side, no good on the shot, but up and under on the rebound, good. And that's Andrea Robinson. Deja Logan goes hard to the basket, and Robinson picks up the loose ball rebound and converts it. Five to three, Eagles, hard slap on the foul. And Tory Chestnut's gonna go back to the free throw line. Chestnut, the senior guard for Spalding. One of those players who has enjoyed a lot of success in her career here at Spalding. Chestnut makes good on the first five to four year score, 345 remaining first quarter. CUDA.com and Dual Cam Productions combining to bring you the broadcast. Executive producer Matt Cruz helping us make, make it all possible. Deja Logan inside to Edwards. And now it's around the outside. McDonough content to run settled offense right now. 10 on the clock. Spin move, rebound on the inside. And Andrea Robinson has done a tremendous job since checking in. The freshman playing like a veteran. Camille Calhoun guilty of the foul, her first. These two teams split the regular season matchups. With McDonough handing Spalding its only loss of the year. But as they say, throw all that aside, today's the title game. Bring your A game to the A conference championship. Rebounded by Edwards. And McDonough with a second chance opportunity. Long on the shot. Ball gathered in. Great play on the underneath. Spalding able to work the ball well up the floor. And that's a three pointer by Alea Epps. First three pointer of the day. And that gives Spalding an 8-6 lead. Spalding playing straight man-to-man -man defense. And McDonough working off ball very well. Shot up and good. Far side, Deja Logan. Excuse me, Jamera Johnson. Thought it was 40, it was 42. Jamera Johnson making that one. You look at Lillian Robb, number 10, the defender. Oh, over. Sorry, Chestnut. But the ball pinball's out free and a good basket. And that is Micah Johnson Matthews, the sophomore, putting Spalding back ahead 10 8. Lillian Robb passes. Nice inside pass to a cutter. And again, McDonough running great off-ball offense. Deja Logan's going to go to the line. Great example of people moving without the ball here by the McDonough Eagles. That puts a lot of pressure on the Spalding defense. And so far, defense has ruled the day. Skate 
for the Cavaliers checks back in. <laughs> Tied up, it's going to be a jump ball possession awarded to Spalding. Jump ball to ball on the court. And stay Spalding basketball. Full court pressure again applied by the Eagles. And it's going to be Eagle basketball. As the referees sort out the possession arrow. Edwards cuts off a screen, gets the inbounds, thinks about the three and gets it back. McDonough going back into that motion offense. Pick and roll, play, inside shot, no good by Johnson, but the rebound gathered and scored. And Lillian Robb gets her first basket of the day. the ball. Great drive to the basket by Tori Chestnut and she's going to go back to the free throw line. She's going to get plenty comfortable here from the charity stripe. This is her third trip of the day to shoot some free throws. 118 to go first quarter. 10 to 10 your score. A conference championship game. And Chestnut talks in the first 11-10 now. Spalding Cavaliers in their home whites. McDonough Eagles in their road oranges and they are listed as the guests on the scoreboard. Danielle Edwards gets it up the court quickly to Deja Logan, gets it back to Edwards and now it's gonna be Savannah. Rob gets it back up to Edwards. Underneath plate, and ball awarded to Spalding. As substitutions come in for both squads, number four, Alexandra Fuller checks in for Spalding. First action tonight for Puller, the senior guard. ton of seniors on this Spalding team. Coach Bookie Roseman has to love the career that these seniors have put together while at Spalding. Travel called against Spalding there. Sierra Clark called for that one. A 10 second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Edwards wing to Rob. Rob dribbles up top, gets it over to 44, Savannah Buckman. And now a travel on this end at 14.3 seconds remaining. As you see freshman Savannah Buchanan getting some run here for the McDonough Eagles. up the floor, and travel called against Jade Skate. And now McDonough has 8.2 seconds with which to work. And some check-ins, substitutions number 33, Kirsten Martin, senior guard for the Eagles, checks in, as does 23 Mile win. And this is Deja Logan. Logan going full court drive. Shot fake, three point attempt for the Eagles, no good. And that'll do it for the first half. 11 to 10, your score here as CUDA.com brings you the IAAM title game, the McDonough Eagles against the Archbishop Spalding Cavaliers. Spalding set to inbounds to start the second quarter here in the IAM title game. 
Booker Corrigan bringing you the action on CUDA.com, your home for great high school sports. Inside move, no dice. And Spalding again with that full court pressure, they have been able to create turnovers and disrupt McDonough's ability to get into their offense. Camille Calhoun will do the inbounding for the Cavaliers. She gets it up top and it's number 10. Excuse me. Micah Johnson Matthews. And now it's Tori Chestnut taking the shot. And jump ball called. And I thought for sure Chestnut was going back to the free throw line. A lot of players have their place on the floor where they're comfortable shooting and Chestnut made her place the free throw line in the first quarter. Ball fake, long three pointer taken and Rob's gonna gather the rebound, saved but right to Spalling. And that is Camille Calhoun. Settles things nicely. Underneath pass off the Eagles. It's going to be possession for the Cavaliers. And we had a five second call. That's another attribute to all the great defense we've seen today. You know these coaches. Rosemond and Reese emphasize great team defense throughout their programs. Spalding may be a senior laden squad this year, but they have a tremendous junior varsity program and they're gonna be bringing up some talent for the years to come. Ball off the knee of Edwards. Spalding tries to push it up the floor, no good. Ball kicked away, it's gonna be McDonough basketball underneath the Spalding basket. Alexander Puller checks back into the game. Yet another senior, Edwards, three-pointer from the wing, draws iron. Puller gathers the rebound for the Cavaliers and looking to push the floor, but Edmonds is not gonna let her go quietly into the night. Calhoun has the ball taken away by Martin. Kirsten Martin, the senior guard for the Eagles, is doing a nice job of playing defense down low on the floor as we have a loose hairband now picked up. You don't see that every day. McDonough's Maya Wynn will shoot 6-19 to go second quarter, 11-10 your score. Wynn with the high arcing free throw, no good. Rebound gathered by Chestnut. Tori Chestnut, a capable ball handler, can break that press on her own and does so in and out. Rebounded effectively by Brianna Jacobs, and here's Edwards pushing the floor. Martin wing three, yes! Big bucket by the senior, Kirsten Martin. And that gives the Eagles their first lead of the second quarter. 13-11 with 5.40 to go first half. Just underneath Calhoun. Great play on the ball by the Eagles. And Edwards pitches it all the way ahead. Shot underneath, yes! And a chance to convert the old school three-point play for Maya Wynn. And puts the Eagles up 15-11. And we get a 20-second timeout. We'll take one as well. And CUDA.com giving you the fan cam Fan of the day, the great Italian, Mario Della Cutie. And there you go.
quite bashful in her time as a fan at Madonna School. Coming out of the timeout, back to the free throw line. Maya Wynn with a chance to give the Eagles their biggest lead of the day at five. 15-11 with 5.27 to go, first half. Maya Wynn shooting one. Each team has made a three-pointer and it's been a momentum changing play both times. Win rolls it around, but offensive rebound, and it's going to be awarded to the Eagles on the out of bounds. Jameer Johnson checks into the game. Edwards will settle it for the Eagles. Here's Rob. Back to Edwards, three-pointer, good. And now the Eagles are up 18-11. Largest lead of the day. Spalding Cavaliers have the senior leadership to chip away. They just simply need to take good shots, have good possessions. Scrappy rebound, and Sierra Clark. Good hard full court pressure. Coach Bookie Roseman's got to be happy with what Clark's been able to accomplish. That's going to be a jump ball. And if I'm not mistaken, Spalding started the quarter with the ball. I don't think we've had a jump ball. Kuda viewers will have to go back and check me on that one. Send me a tweet. Okay. And I'm already getting tweeted that it was several jump balls. Offensive rebound. And a long three, oh yes! Huge three ball for Alexander Puller. We talked earlier about how the momentum has swung on those three pointers. And now it's 18-16. Puller and Clark able to cash in for Spalding. On Fuller on the three point shot by Edmonds, and she will shoot three times. Three fifty five as Puller picks up her first foul of the day, team foul number nine. So McDonough will be in the double bonus from here on out. Edwards short on the first. She gets her heels up off the ground on that one and makes it 19-16 as Kirsten Martin checks back in, replacing Lillian Robb. And here's Edwards, third. And Calhoun, a great rebound there. Camille Calhoun has just been a beast on the inside all season long for the Cavaliers. And today, no exception. Calhoun now pulling her defender out to the outside. Dribble hard right hand underneath pass. Not high enough on the shot. The ball again to the floor. And a jump ball. This will be a McDonough possession. Logan will do the inbounding for the Eagles. And again, you see that full court pressure, some token, three quarter court pressure as they back it off a little bit. Ready. 
Martin down on the left wing, guarded by Puller. Six seconds on the shot clock. Not sure McDonough's aware of it. Ball tipped away, and now it's gonna be Spalding possession. Great play underneath. And Epps pulls the Cavaliers back to within one. 19-18, McDonough leads. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. Second quarter, Booker Corrigan and CUDA.com bringing you the girls basketball A conference championship game of the IAAM. Oh, and that's gonna be a travel against the Eagles. Do not count the basket. As Jameer Johnson, the sophomore forward, one of the team leaders in rebounds. But that time, guilty of the extra step on the move. Aaliyah Epps gets it up to Calhoun. Long three-pointer by Chestnut, banks it in, yes, sir! Corey Chestnut puts Spalding back in the lead, 21-19. It might be Sunday afternoon on a holiday weekend, but the bank is open. Edwards underneath, pass up and in. Good move by Brianna Jacobs. And we are now tied at 21 with a minute and a half to go in the first half. Outside to Puller, three-pointer off the front iron. Puller gets her own rebound. Calhoun playing a little two-man game with Epps. Ball knocked away by the McDonough defenders, and it's going to remain Spalding ball. 22 seconds on the shot clock after Puller got her own rebound. And one of the things that's jumped out at me is all the offensive rebounds that have occurred today for both squads. And you just know that's all hustle. In and out as Sierra Clark can't get it to go. And then we get a travel on the outside by Epps, but Sierra Clark doing a great job getting herself open on the underneath but unable to convert. Martin, comfortable on that left wing. Edwards dribbles in. And now it's going to be Spalding pushing it up the floor. We're inside a minute in the quarter. Great hustle by Sierra Clark. But her right foot clearly on the line. Good call by referee Nigel Tuffman. <laughs> Nigel Tuffman and Jeremy Beckwith, two of your refs today. with 19.7 seconds to go in the quarter. And I can comfortably say we are standing room only here at Goucher College. Doing a great job hosting all three championship games for the IAAM. The C Conference, B Conference, and now the A Conference. All available on CUDA.com. Epps down the way to Calhoun. Calhoun, 15-footer, no good. Martin loses the handle. And Tory Chestnut comes in and makes it. Count the basket, 0.8 seconds, but they're going to put something back on it. Clock continued to run after the basket. Oh, 
And that'll do it for the first half, 23-21. Archbishop Spalding in the lead in a hot defensive contest here on CUDA.com.